I started YouTube 15 years old, May 27th, 2018. It is now the 8th of June, 2024, and I'm turning 22 in September. <laughs> so it's been six years since I started, right? In these six years, I enjoyed doing it. I was never really consistent with uploading and I lived in my head rent free. What got my channel to my first 1000 subscribers was going to a festival in Ireland called Longitude and I made a vlog about my three days there and I called it a mega vlog. That done really well for me and it got me noticed by a couple of Irish creators and I was like oh shit this is lit and then I got to 2000 I changed my name from Tender Tom to 2k Tender still a controversial change to this day some people think I shouldn't have changed this some people are cool with the fact I did and then I hit 3k subs and that was about three years ago maybe and I've been stuck there since I've basically fell off I've plateaued to be honest like the only videos that really get reoccurring views on my channel nowadays is either longitude content or the fact that I failed to leave insert <laughs> that's all I have to stand for six years of doing YouTube I'm not in college I went for a semester and then I dropped out to go work a job. So I'm chilling with my girlfriend. I have two older brothers. One brother lives in London. He texts me and he's like, yo, like, I want to talk to you. I finally got on a call with him. He just starts laying down the facts. Hey, you've been doing YouTube for six years. I let you do your thing. I let you chill. Now I've got to step in. And I'm like, huh? what that lights a fire in me like it came across so condescending i know like he's my older brother he didn't mean it like that but that's how it came across to me he's right in a sense i've been on a plateau like i have not been growing because i haven't been posting consistently so he was correct but the fact that he called me and he said that he was like hey i'll give you 200 quid to make a video about irish rap and it has to be 15 minutes long you also have to mention your brother's brand in there as well so my brother in dublin doesn't even know that this is happening like it was a thing between me and my brother in london so it gives me a deadline of a month so that sounds good right but i'm just pissed off that he's now just said he needs to help me that triggered me. my mate ryan he told me about atomic habits in the past i listened to a little bit of the audiobook while i was in work at my first job but i never actually finished it so now i had a fire lit in me i'm like yo let me check out this book i get the book digitally right so i'm reading it on my phone the idea atomic habits is that you're trying to improve one percent every single day it compounds it builds up over time it was also talking about systems so it's saying that hey, don't necessarily focus on the numbers. I was looking at my YouTube numbers. It was like, hey, focus on a system to get consistent. So the system that I thought about, it wasn't necessarily to do with YouTube. It was to do with content creation. I was like, let me build up a system to make a video that I can post on TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. And I would do that. And that would be called DTV, which stands for Daily Tender Vlog. I've been doing this Daily Tender Vlog now for 39 days. I started to read more books. Discipline is Destiny by Ryan Holiday. I finished that. And now I'm currently on Can't Hurt Me by by David Goggins. After Can't Hurt Me, I want to start reading this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Like what my brother said lit a fire in me so hard that I started reading. I've now started creating content consistently. So I want to start making videos on YouTube again. I sent him a draft, the Irish rap video, and I was like, hey, let me know what you think about it. Hey, give me feedback. Realistically, I didn't actually want him to give me feedback. I just wanted this to be done with. It was a video that never mattered because I didn't care what he was saying. He's already just said, hey, I need to help you you need help so that triggered me this has been ongoing for like nearly two months and then my brother comes back to me and he's talking about he wants me to reshape the video he wants me to reinvent the narrative of the video i'm like oh my god bro i'm done <laughs> i was like i don't care forget the 200 quid you lit a fire in me i'm posting daily tender vlogs i'm reading books i'm fucking using bio oil to try get rid of the scars on my head i want to treat this video that never mattered as a sign that hey i'm gonna drop more videos weekly after this one i want to do a take me out part two because i actually got a text from some fella that watches my videos and he was like where's take me out part two i was like yo bro sorry i didn't think anybody wanted that that would be my next video next week and i want to keep posting youtube videos every week after that so here is the video that never mattered what mattered was what my brother said it wasn't necessarily the video itself the Irish rap duo Travis and Els have become the first Irish rap act to have a number one album in Ireland. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I'd say Irish rap now is at its all time peak due to that happening. And thanks to versatile member Casper Walsh, Irish rap is also now all over my TikTok as well with his new song Simmer Down. So <laughs> I just wanted to make a video to talk about how I first found out about Irish rap, which dates all the way back to when I was in the Rubber Bandits. I remember in my old house when I shared a room with my two older 
Warner Brothers, on the box TV, go on RTE2, and I'd see the Republic of Telly, which was like an Irish satire TV show. It was full of skits and stuff like that. And I'd see these two lads that had like shopping bags wrapped around their face like balaclavas. And they were just the funniest duo ever. I just remember looking forward to seeing them when I was watching Republic of Telly. And then they had this absolute banger. I don't even know if you can consider this rap, but I just want to say it anyway, because it's just my earliest memory of like good Irish music to me. It was Rubber Bandit's Horse Outside. If you're looking for a ride, I've a horse outside. And then you have I Wanna Fight Your Father. And then my personal favourite, Black Man. Next up on the list, I'd like to tell you about MC Path Lim. There was one song from his in particular. I forgot what the song was. It's crazy he's still going because he's been around for so long. I think it's this one. 43 million views. Obviously, this went super viral. I'm the best MC inside the country. That was shared around school and all. It went from MC Path Lim to Versatile. There was a song going around. All I remember the lyrics being, we're like, who robbed the hash from the gap? Yeah, there was a remix. This was seven years ago. Pop a hash, pop a hash. This is bringing back memories already. In school, that remix was going around, and that's how I first found out about Versatile. It's crazy how the time flies. Like, he's engaged now, by the way. Congratulations for that. There was a big time skip in my head, and I feel like Versatile's song, Amparo, off me head, because I'm pretty sure it's Ketamine, isn't it? The drop is crazy. <laughs> I remember that song was everywhere. Who robbed the hash from the gaff is a certified hood classic. I feel like after that for me, if we fast forward a little bit more, there's a lot more Irish rappers. And I feel like you go into Officer. I remember this song went viral, Naruto Drillings. And I didn't even know that Officer was Irish. I didn't even know how to say his name either. I was saying like Afisha. Naruto Drillings, what do you mean? If he was the engineer, he's big in the UK, right? He's got motion and he has this show called Plugged In. And then A92, which is the group that Officer's a part of, got one to plugged in this went super viral on tiktok and i think it's because of debo dbo with his deep voice i feel like just catches everyone off guard my hunting come in like corona if it costs twice and it's turning you back even fumes his face is like what the most popular plugged in and it's irish an irish don rapping uk drill with an african twang while wearing a japanese anime mask <laughs> Yeah, because this is essentially UK drill, right? So I feel like that's the criticism it gets is that, hey, it doesn't sound Irish enough. But in my opinion, I feel like who really held it down was Cello. It started to go viral and I heard about him. And this was three years ago. In my opinion, I feel like Cello helped make it more Irish. He introduced like the Irish language into it. And he uses more of a stronger Irish accent than most Irish boys that rap. And the cool thing is there's a lot of people that I actually recognize that are in the video as well. So like, it just makes it hit even harder. Yo, being from Dublin, but you don't know shit about me. Yeah, bro, like, there's so many lyrics in this song. Like, I'll go through them because I just don't want to get copyrighted. Because obviously, if I play the song for long enough, YouTube's going to be like, <laughs> give me that. On the seaside, that's Clondalkin. Shasagi, which means stand up. I really respected Cello in this sense. To be fair, another Dublin rapper named AC Tree also has a heavy Irish accent and he uses a lot of Gaelga in his raps. He don't understand, strong of thought. And Cello himself even knows that they both use Irish. He ended up getting signed to Warner Music. And I actually know his manager as well oh and like here's a bit of inside tea i went to one of cello's concerts for the album that he had sellotape it's a nice play on name in a cello sellotape i went to the listening party for that and i recorded it and i made a vlog out of it his manager saw it and he was like hey we want to get you like recording stuff and doing behind the scenes for cello he said oh yeah we pay for the travel and we compensate and everything it was a really cool opportunity but i just didn't want to take it because i just wanted to focus on my own thing i didn't want to say this to him because like <laughs> people that knew his manager were saying yo take the deal yo man you should do it take it but i felt so pressured that i just aired them <laughs> like literally to this day the message is still aired and i feel so bad i don't think gino wants anything to do with me at all <laughs> sorry gino apologies but officer and cello now made a song together and that felt like the craziest link up to me i was like whoa they linked up what the fuck Aye, Aye. Chief, ole, ole. the way that cello puts a lot of irish into his raps officer puts a lot of yoruba into his songs officer is from from Lagos, Nigeria, moved to Dryada. So that's where the A92 comes from. I feel like that was a huge link up, right? Blew my mind back then. And then to be honest, I wouldn't really be doing my local boys a justice if I didn't mention Smiles. I knew Smiles. We used to play on the same football team outside. It's nearly on a million views on Grime Daily. 
So you can see I was supporting the boys. Ireland on Grand Daily, I love to see it. I think they get categorized as Irish people trying to do UK rap. Like the lingo and everything, like you just wouldn't think it's Irish. Like I personally rate the music because I listen to UK rap anyway. But I just know that that is a big complaint. I'm not trying to call out smiles here. Don't get it twisted. I myself recording this video also use a lot of UK slang in my everyday life because I watch so much UK content, UK music, and Ireland and the UK are so close to each other as well. I think it's just inevitable for a lot of Irish people to sound like UK people and I'm actually one of them. I am a part of this problem. <laughs> well, I also use a lot of Irish slang as well. Story bro, talk to you later, that's gas. That's just how it is. It's just a mix of both. Yes, I am aware that there are Irish rappers out there that keep it pure Irish. It's just that the majority of new Irish rappers these days get compared to the UK. Another song that I really fucked with from Smiles. I think this is a banger as well. And it's filmed in the same place as well, same estate. Patrick CC actually reacted to this, like he got told about it. He said that she's joking, she ain't never get a whole thing. Nah, like this song genuinely goes hard. Like it's actually a banger. Smiles and Young is linked up again. I remember there's hype on this, especially on TikTok as well. Irish girl, 10 out of 10. She loves herself, always taking pics. This part was rinsed on TikTok. The youngest is actually really fire. It's crazy that I only found out about him true outside. And he's still making music to this day. Smiles is still making music to this day. And then Cal and Pepper. Cal used to be on my football team as well. Get, get in the bed, then covers will go under. Boom, 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 we make a noise like yeah, bro, it's all so local. She be saying pepper say grip on this ass. <laughs> bro, pepper don't waste no time. Bro is ruthless. Yeah, so I know Chemo personally, like on a family level. I remember I commented her. And I used it in one of my early videos as well on the outro. Best it, best it, best it, best it, baby, best it. is also a good song as well. There's actually a lot of sick songs, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of different subgenres. Irish people are doing a lot of stuff. Irish artist Hosier also got a number one on the Billboard Hot 100, which is basically the Champions League of music charts. And then I also remember AC130. I'm telling the Irish story from my perspective, because that's all I can tell it from. Clip, bang, the man them ran. Brand new pack, got that from the dam. Had, 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 had. How can I talk about Irish rap and not mention Mr. Affiliate, bro? Had such a crazy run, and then he just stopped making music. If I play this, you'll recognize it. If you don't recognize this one, you'll recognize the one I'll play next. Because this went viral, because people said he sounded like Stewie Griffin. How many affiliates gotta give blood for their benefits? I don't know, bro, irrelevant. Yeah, man, Stewie Griffin was going crazy. I feel like Mr. Affiliate just has like a delivery that catches you off guard. Like when he's rapping, you're like, what the fuck? Then he linked up with Russ. Oh, this link up went crazy. 10 million views. Man, man, back your mash, um. But with a different soul. Fire, 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 fire. He went on like a generational run and then he disappeared. It's like Avatar. It's like when the world needed him most, he disappeared. I swear to God, bro. Don't know what he's doing now. I haven't heard of him in time. Do you fuck with CBT? I don't fuck with CBT. Huh? Are you sure? <laughs> Cock and ball, though. I wouldn't really be talking about Irish music if I wasn't talking about Irish EDM as well. I feel like Belters only really blew it up. The classic. Make me feel good. Jazzy, she was singing the song. She's blown up now as well. They've really helped elevate the scene. And I feel like a group that's kind of came out of nowhere and went nuts. I didn't even know they had an official music video. <laughs> This guy right here is Ben Williams. He's from Dublin, Ireland, and he's been having a phenomenal year, like with Misfits, music. He also kind of runs something which is similar to Misfits, but it's not Misfits. This guy has his hand in a lot of bags right now. So you have to give credit where credit is due. And they actually have another song, which I need them to drop. Such a shame. It's a shame if you wanna come back now, baby. I actually can't wait for them to drop that. I can't lie. Like, I'm actually excited about that. He also has a clothing brand. But I'm not going to tell you about his clothing brand because I've already glazed them enough. I'm going to tell you about my brother's clothing brand. Branded Royal is a Nigerian Irish streetwear brand that focuses on combining good comfort and good design. Due to the creator of the brand being my older brother, I've worn this brand since the beginning and it's only evolved and evolved. So if you're trying to understand the hype, go onto the Instagram, give it a follow, stay tuned for the new drop, which may have something to do with Jim jerseys just teasing you thank you branded right for the sponsor now back to the video like i think cameron watson is sick yeah he's cold now we get to travis and l the duo i'll tell you guys about the first time i found out about them which was their song vision like the visuals of their music videos are crazy the rap itself goes hard as well yeah so that's how i first found out about them but how they blew up was blockbuster Man, it's on to the next if the Swiss don't beat. Yeah, i was seeing this all over tiktok and i think that a lot of people are just surprised that they were irish the album went 
at number one. As you can see, Travis and Els have the first ever Irish rap album at number one in the Irish album charts. It's really sick to see. And they have their brand gliders. And I passed Ariana Grande in Ireland, which is kind of nuts. The Irish rap duo Travis and Els has followed up their success with their full circle mixtape at number two last year. I feel like the thing I'll big them up for is their production. Like the album art is well done. The music videos are well shot. The vocals are mixed proper. They do it all good. That's why I big them up. They were the first ever Irish rap album to be at number one in the Irish album chart. That's why I would say that Irish music is at its peak right now. Especially because of Hosier going number one on the Billboard Hot 100. I cannot express to you how big of a deal that actually is. Like the last Irish person that went number one on the Billboard was Sinead O'Connor. Rest in peace. But just it's so difficult as a big American artist, whatever country you're from, to make it as a number one on the Billboard Hot 100. That is fucking crazy. I'll take my whiskey. And I did listen to the album. I like 30 Days and 30 Nights. Motion Sickness was good as well. Franklin Flow, Cello was actually on this. In terms of Irish music, I think it's headed in a great direction. My conclusion, after giving you my tour about Irish rap music and bringing you through all the people that I know in Irish rap music, I think that Irish rap is in a really cool spot. I feel like it's getting more recognition than ever. It's cool to see. It's cool to see it from the African Irish side, getting number one on the charts. And it's cool to see it from the pure Dublin, Ireland, crazy side. Caspar Walsh with Simmer Down and how well that's doing. It's cool to see it from both perspectives.